Today's video is on five tourist attractions that the tourists destroyed. Number five, Pig Island, Exuma, Bahamas. The swimming pigs of Exuma Island in the Bahamas are famous around the world for being incredibly friendly and photogenic. There are many theories about how the pigs came to be on the island. One theory suggests that the pigs arrived on the Exumas when a group of sailors dropped them there to be cooked later on. But luckily, the sailors never returned for dinner and the pigs survived. Now, they lived on what's locally known as Pig Beach for around 30 years. Ever since then, tourists have visited the island for a chance to splash around with the adorable pigs. But sadly, this practice took a sinister turn in 2017 when seven of the pigs were found dead. Whilst some pigs survived, reports indicate only about half of the pig population was wiped out. It's not known exactly how they died, but there were widespread reports of tourists behaving awfully towards the pigs. Visitors are said to have been feeding them rum and beer and even trying to ride them. Hopefully, this awful event will serve as a reminder to treat the inhabitants of Pig Beach with the care that they deserve. Number 4. The Tenere Tree, the Sahara Desert, Niger The only tree for 250 square miles in Niger's Sahara Desert, the Tenere Tree, used to be the most isolated tree on Earth. It was an important landmark that helped caravans and travelers to find their way in endless sands. In the 1930s, this tree was even marked on the maps of military campaigners. Scientists claimed that the only way the tree could survive was a massive system of roots. According to different estimates, these roots could reach from 40 to 100 feet underground. But in 1973, a man hit the tree with his truck and snapped the tree trunk in two. The man was driving along the road which traced a century-old caravan route and crashed into the only obstacle he could find for miles. Rumor has it that the driver was drunk. Nowadays, the dried trunk of the tree can be found in the Niger National Museum, and in the place where the tree used to stay, you'll only see a metal sculpture which has replaced the Tenere tree. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to our channel with notifications on. Number 3. Nazca Lines, Peru. The 2,000-year-old Nazca Lines, often called the greatest enigma of the archaeological world, is a series of images scratched into the surface of a coastal plain about 225 miles south of Lima. It's the world's best-known collection of geoglyphs, best appreciated when you look at them from high up in the sky. These numerous geoglyphs are very old, most of them date back to 200 BCE to 500 CE. Sadly, neither the enigma nor the magnificence of the 2,000-year-old images stopped vandals from ruining them. One of the reasons is the Pan American Highway that goes through the site. Drivers also caused damage when they cut through the plain. In February 2018, a truck driver intentionally drove his tractor trailer off a roadway that runs through the historic site and damaged three geoglyphs. He was arrested and expected to be charged with a, quote, an attack against cultural heritage. Surprisingly, another danger to the ancient geoglyphs came from the Greenpeace activists in 2014. During climate change talks in Lima, they left on the ground a giant message that said, time for a change, the future is renewable, Greenpeace. Unfortunately, this inscription was located too close to one of the images, a hummingbird and the footprints of the activists, as well as the message itself, damaged the site. Number 2. Fairy Shrimp, Uluru, Australia Not only are the tourists capable of destroying important historical landmarks and natural wonders, but they also seem to be talented of wiping out entire species of living, breathing things. Sounds weird, we know. Well, allow us to explain. The species in question is known as the Fairy Shrimp, and it was once a tourist attraction in and of itself. At least it used to be before tourists managed to wipe it out. How in the world were they able to do so, you might ask? Well, let's start from the beginning. We are sure you all heard about Uluru, one of Australia's best-known landmarks and one of the most visited tourist attractions in the country. Uluru is basically a rock that was created over 600 million years ago. And while it once sat at the bottom of the sea, it is now 338 meters or 1,108 feet above the ground. This landmark was once home to an entire species, in fact, it was the only place in the entire world you could find the Branchinella latsi, also known as the fairy shrimp. 
This species lived in pools of water on the Uluru, and people came from all over the world just to look at this strange and rare shrimp, and it was the only place in the world you could find them. That was until the 1970s, when the species disappeared rather mysteriously. It wasn't until 2009 when a retired wildlife science professor, Brian Timms, finally solved the mystery. He did some research and came to the conclusion that human waste from tourists was to blame for the extinction of the fairy shrimp. As it turns out, tourists were defecating on top of Uluru because there were no toilets available. What's worse is that the Uluru has great spiritual significance to Australia's indigenous Anaju people. So they asked that people not climb Uluru at all, which is pretty understandable. Their culture, however, prevents them from stopping visits as they believe that people should know right from wrong and have to take responsibility for their own actions. Number one, the Duckbill Rock Formation, Oregon, USA. Duckbill was a pedestal-shaped rock formation that stood proudly above the Pacific Ocean at Cape Kiwanda State Natural Area. This rather unique rock was popular among professional photographers and amateurs alike for its shape that resembled a duck's head. The Duckbill Rock Formation was first documented in the 1900s. According to scientists, it had been around for thousands of years and nature had worked hard to create such an unusual monument. Unfortunately, the authorities were unable to ward off the hordes of tourists swarming this place. In fact, the iconic formation was so beloved that Oregon State Parks decided to erect barriers so that it would not be toppled accidentally. But that didn't stop tourists from climbing over the fence and hopping on the rock for the sake of having a cool picture. In August 2016, the Duckbill Rock Formation finally collapsed. But the reason for this tragedy wasn't the fragility of the formation as officials originally thought when they found the rubble. Instead, it was a group of teenagers that destroyed this natural wonder in a moment of several seconds, as shown on the video recorded by a passerby. When he confronted the young people, they retorted that their friend had broken his leg on this rock. Therefore, in their opinion, the duck bill had to be taken down as a safety hazard. The worst part of this story is that the vandals managed to remain unidentified. They have never been caught, but even if they were brought to responsibility, according to Oregon state law, they would only have to pay a $435 fine. This act of vandalism earns a top spot on our list of five tourist attractions they destroyed. Now, let's take a look at our honorable mentions. Paleolithic Cave Paintings, Grotta de Lasco. In 1940, Jacques Marsal and his three fellow French teenagers, while searching for their missing dog, stumbled across a cave with a gallery of over 600 paintings and 500 engravings on limestone, depicting animals, humans, hunting, and abstract signs. This art was considered to be the work of more than 1,000 generations. It became a hotspot for art fanatics from all over the world. But it would seem that the generation that followed the discovery were not as keen on art preservation this unique character and physical realism made the site a pride of joy for the village of Montenac, attracting a vast majority of visitors. These visitors carried heat, humidity, and other contaminants which altered the cave's climate. This and the unsuccessful attempts at air conditioning had led to the growth of a pervasive fungus that threatened to cover the masterpieces. 23 years after its discovery, in 1963, it was closed. Still, to satisfy the public's desire to view it, Lasco II was opened in 1983, which is an elaborate replica of the key parts of the cave. Its purpose is to present an impression of the painting's scale and composition for the public without harming the originals. I hope you all enjoyed today's video narrated by Zach this time. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out some of our recent uploads.